So this video is just a quick reminder about what to do when dividing by zero. So you'll see a little pained emoticon face and that's how mathematicians often feel when people try to divide by zero and get some sort of answer. So let's say we have some real number A and we're going to look at three different cases. So case one, if I have zero divided by that real number A, that's just equal to zero. So we can do zero divided by a number, that's fine, that's zero. The second case is if I have that real number A divided by zero. So what this means is if you try to take nine things and divide them into zero groups, you can't do that, right? So it doesn't make any sense, it's called undefined. If you go on to take math 1500, um, you will do limits and you'll see that in this case too, so the limit will tend to either positive or negative infinity, but that will be something you learn in 1500. Okay, and then the third case is if you have zero divided by zero. So this is even different than case two. So if I have zero things and I try to divide them into zero groups, again, doesn't make any sense. And it is called an indeterminate form. And again, if you take math 1500, um, you'll see this zero divided by zero happening when you're doing limits, and you'll have to do things to, to deal with that indeterminate form. Okay, so just a quick summary here. Careful when you're dividing if you have, if you're dividing by zero. Okay, so remember that if you have zero divided by a number, that's fine, it's just zero, but if, you're, if you ever have zero on the denominator of a fraction and you're trying to divide by zero, you either have an undefined case or an indeterminate case. If you want to hear something funny and you have an Apple device, you can ask Siri what is zero divided by zero, and she gives you a pretty clever answer. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.